we're going to make some game day goodies, and we have just some really fun stuff planned for you today. Okay, first of all, um, I think it's a Monday game, night game, so that means you know the family's going to be hanging out, um, you know, probably chilling around the, the on the couch. Hopefully the homework's done and just can relax and, and chill out and enjoy the game. So I think the perfect thing to make is just a big batch of soup. And if your kids like tacos, and come on, whose kids don't like tacos? I think you're going to really like this recipe. I'm making taco soup. Really easy. One of those recipes that you can come home Monday, throw this together in minutes, and it's kind of one of those dump recipes. So one more sip of this great coffee, and I'm going to get to work. Okay. Really, who honks at the drive through line? I really... Really? Okay, a little, <laughs> really, right? Okay, anyway, um, I've got a little bit of oil because this is really lean ground beef and two pounds of ground beef into my big soup kettle. So two pounds of ground beef, this is gonna make a nice big batch. And the nice part about this is that the leftovers I can pack in Bob's lunch, you can take them to work. I can pack them in my lunch. I love soup, especially this time of year. Make a big batch and the leftovers are awesome. This soup actually freezes really well too. I'm using my handy little gadget here that the folks of, at Cook's Corner told me I had to have and I really do like it. I used to, and I still do at home, I don't have one of these, so I use a potato masher to kind of get that ground beef going and get it crumbly, but this is, I think it's called a chop and stir. It works pretty well. Okay. So I've also got some onion that I'm going to add to that in just a minute, but first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dice up some green pepper. The recipe calls for about a cup of each, so it's going to be about one green pepper. If your family does not like green pepper, leave it out, but in soups and things like that, I can kind of sneak it in there. Nobody really knows. Just to add some extra flavor. And this recipe, I love it because there's not a whole lot of chopping involved. The onion and the green pepper, and then you're pretty much good to go. I like this recipe because it's also fun because you can do a little fix-ins bar. So if you're doing like chili, we have a great white chicken chili recipe on our website that I did a week or so ago, and that one's a great one too, if you're feeling more in that type of a mood. But I love, you know, it's game day. People wanna have fun, wanna be a little interactive. Even if it's just, you know, watching with your family, I like to do something fun for game day recipes. So. I love the idea of, you know, you can add your own toppings. Okay, so green pepper is diced. Let me check on my ground beef, which is getting there. A couple of things I wanted to mention, because once again, I was up earlier than I should have been this morning because of Riley's cell phone. Hoping to get some sleep this weekend. <laughs> anyway, um, I was just got right back into my book club book that we're reading right now. Um, it is, it's just awesome. I cannot put it down. In fact, I'm hoping to really snuggle up on the couch this weekend and get some, really get into it because I'm kind of still wondering what's going to happen. But um, the book is called Tomorrow River by Leslie Kagan. And our book club meeting is coming up Tuesday, October 5th at Reader's Loft in Bellevue. If you were looking to get out of your rut and you're just bored and you kind of feel like you need some me time, go get our book club books and read along with us and come to book club. It's so much fun. All different people, all different ages. And I'm starting to find out I love reading. And it's something that, you know, when I was in school, I think sometimes when you're forced to read, you don't, you know, I've come to love it afterwards because um, it's kind of my escape time. So when we read and then when you talk about the books, that's the fun part. I always try and talk about the books to Bob and he's like, yeah, okay, now <laughs> moving on, you know, because he's not reading the same book. So I just want to talk about the book. So that's why book club's so fun is because, you know, we've all read the book or hopefully even if you don't finish it, people come and it's just chat about it. And you learn so much more about the book. You get a whole new perspective um, about the book when you read it together. And the cool thing is that our book club book, We've been lucky enough to attract some attention and actually um, get the authors to come every once in a while. And the author is coming to this next book club book. She's a national best-selling author. 
Uh, Leslie Kagan will be there, so how cool is that? I'm super psyched about that. Okay, so my beef is browning. Then I add my onion and my green pepper. If there's any grease in there, but this happened to be so lean, I didn't see any. You could certainly drain that out. And I just want to saute that onion and green pepper for a minute or so. I'm always looking for new game day recipes. You know, we are really into, we love our football here in Wisconsin. And, you know, sometimes I run out of ideas. So you, if you have any great game day, you know, maybe you're one of those avid tailgaters or you just like to put on a big spread at home, please email them to me or come on the show and cook with me, better yet. All right, this is looking great. Just trying to get all the pink out of the, out of the burger, it's nice and crumbly. See, that thing really does work. Okay, now we need to season this up. And this is, from here on out, our work is done. Um, basically, we're going to dump everything into this pot, let it simmer. We're going to be watching the game. Halftime, we are ready to eat. So, a couple of things to season this up. We're going to do one envelope of your favorite taco seasoning mix. Just dump it in. Deb makes her own. My partner in crime here. Deb, we're going to get you on the show one of these days. And we're going to make your taco seasoning mix. Because I know you can do it. I've just never done it. I just um, usually just pick them up at the grocery store. But, you know, just put a few different seasonings together. Chili powder and cumin. It's easy. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. And one packet of dry ranch dressing. So that's going to be your seasoning for this. We've got two pounds of meat. So really want to give that beef some flavor. So I'm going to get that all in here. And I'm going to start opening up some cans. Oh, this smells good. All right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some chicken broth in here. The recipe calls for a few cups. Get that in here, turn up the heat. Also have a jar of salsa, two cups. If you like it spicy, do the hot. If you are kind of in between, do the medium. I play it safe um, for the kids. My kids aren't into spicy foods or if you're having people over and we're going to play it safe and go with mild salsa. Chunky smooth, if your kids don't like chunky, do the smooth. I'm going to do just a teeny bit of water just to get every little bit of salsa out of there. Um, but I like some heat. So what I do is just on the fixings bar, put some extra, you know, hot salsa or some hot sauce. And then everybody's happy. Okay. Get that in there. It's starting to smell really good. Okay, what else? What else? One can of ranch style beans. Now these you do not need to drain because they're in a really great kind of seasoned liquid. So that all can go in there. If you can't find ranch style beans, you can just do kidney beans or pinto beans. We'll get that little top to that cap off of there. And those I would for sure drain those. Get those in here. It's going to give us a lot of flavor. There we go. Yum. One can, four ounce can of diced green chilies. We're just opening cans and dumping. It doesn't get much easier than that. Ooh, love green chilies. And one of the big guys, 28-ounce um, can of diced tomatoes. Now, again, if your kids don't do chunky, you can feel free and do the crushed tomatoes. They'll work fine, too. But one of the big guys, juice and all, don't need to drain this. This is, again, one of the 28-ounce cans. In she goes. And if your family doesn't do beans, just leave them out. Not a big deal. Oh, how good does that look? And one more thing. My kids love corn, and it really works well in this soup. I've got, this is just happens to be frozen corn that we've just pulled out of the freezer, let it thaw out a little bit. About a cup and a half of corn. There's still some fresh corn on the cob around, though. I've seen it at the far, farmer's market, so that would be yummy in here. Okay, so we're going to let this simmer at home for about 15 minutes. 
just let it get all nice and warm and wonderful. If it starts to get too thick on you, you could add a little water or some more of that chicken broth, and uh, we're going to serve it up in a bowl in just a minute. But before we do, I um, just want to mention one more quick thing. Uh, you need to call today to get reservations for our next big night out. It's actually coming up next Wednesday, and I am just super psyched about it. I need a big night out, and maybe you do too. So, you know, if you don't have someone to bring, come yourself. A lot of people just come um, by themselves and because it's just a big party, and we just all hang out and mingle together. I'm going to be there. Deb's going to be there. Deb's wonderful husband, Sean, is going to be there. Uh, it's, it's a nice, nice group of people. Um, we're basically trying to go to different restaurants once a month and try out some fun new places. And then these restaurants really pull out all the stops and go all out. And next week's dinner at Mark's East Side in Appleton is going to go German for us. They are known for their German foods, so they are doing an amazing meal. They're, they're doing a German appetizer platter to start out with fried sauerkraut balls and German sausages and then liver dumpling soup and spinach salad with their homemade hot bacon dressing, my fave. For the main course, a full German sampler platter with schnitzel and spätzle and dumplings and red cabbage and sauerkraut. Can you tell I'm getting hungry? And for dessert, German chocolate cheesecake, all paired with German beers and wines. $50 a person, um, man, can't beat that. So call today to, re uh, to get reservations. It's just a really nice thing to do is support our local restaurants um, because there are so many great restaurants out there, and it's tough. Um, so, um, you know, it's fun to try new places, and this is a great way to sample it because, like I say, they go all out. And stick around because later in the show we're going to tell you about next month's big night out, and this one is also going to be a super fun one. Okay, let's get back to our soup looks amazing. Taco soup. Now at home, let it simmer a little bit longer, but this looks pretty darn good as it is. Again, leftovers, freeze really well, makes a nice big batch. If you've got a lot of people over, feel free to double, double the recipe and have it hang out in your slow cooker or your Nesco. All right, and then now it's time for some fun. Let's garnish it up. Uh, cheese. Where's the cheese, Deb? Maybe this recipe didn't call for it, but man, I think we need some shredded Monterey Jack or some shredded cheese for sure. A little bit of sour cream, maybe. You know, just all your favorite fixings for tacos. Uh, here you go. Monterey Jack, a few tomatoes, a few scallions. I love scallions, and then maybe a little sour cream, too. Recipes on our website. You can also pick up this recipe at any festival foods. It's my taco soup and everybody loves it. Good stuff, especially for game day.